AMS has accomplished the first phase of its life, which means the deployment on the International Space Station, which took place uh, on the 19th of May of 2011, of this year. And uh, it's the first step, and uh, immediately after the installation, uh, it started to gather a huge amount of uh, particles, the cosmic ray particles at various energies. Uh, is an ininterruptible flow, 24 hour uh, days, uh, continuous. Uh, it's not like an accelerator where we have uh, machine development. Uh, the universe is providing cosmic rays all the time. Um, since then, we started co accumulating about 100 million events per week. We are now several billions and the data are coming down from the space station are pre-processed uh, here at CERN uh, on the Science Operations Center. Here we sit in the Payload Operation Control Center where we monitor day and night uh, the f data flow and the performance of the experiment. And uh, the various groups now are uh, actively involved uh, in calibrating and understanding the data to the last uh, detail uh, in preparation for the physical analysis. Right now, the, the space station is just uh, uh, flying over America, North America, uh, is a moment trans uh, of, uh, of uh, passing between night and, uh, and day. You know, in space we have uh, one and a half hour of duration of night and day, so it's a continuous change of uh, light conditions. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very smooth operation now because there are no other uh, rocket or, or capsules which are leaving or attracting to the space station. Uh, the shuttle is not in anymore. A, 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 a possible to, to, to come to the space station because the program has just been ended a few weeks ago. So it's a quiet moment where we are taki, taking data in, in normal conditions. We do have, uh, of course, plenty of high energy events. Uh, the cosmos is a fantastic accelerator. It's providing us for the first time we can detect the positron electrons in several hundreds to TV energy range. Those energies for single particles, for single lepton, are very high even if compared to LAC. Uh, we are now calibrating the detector to the last uh, bit of detail because the effect we are looking for, antimatter, dark matter, require a complete understanding of the data. So the calibration now is the main goal of the various sub-detectors of the experiment. We are definitely preparing for technical publication about the performance of the experiment of the various sub-detectors during this first period in space, our unique information, unique data about that. For what concerns physical analysis, we are uh, considering to do that uh, uh, later because having no competition so far and looking for various uh, various uh, subtle effects uh, before publishing. We absolutely want to understand completely the data to the last bit.